Praise God. Praise God. I pray that everybody is having a blessed day on today. Make it a great day. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. Despite of what, who, whatever you're experiencing, whatever you're not experiencing, whatever you're going through, whatever you're not going through, be grateful, be mindful, be thankful always. Because someone out there is doing worse than you. Someone don't have this, don't have that. So be grateful, be mindful, be thankful. Wake up in the morning and know that you are blessed. Know that the first gift is life. So today is the last day of the 21-day Daniel fast. Congratulations to those that stayed on it, that tried it. I know some of you did and... You know, things happen or whatever the case may be. And then there are those that, hey, you kept on going today at 3 o'clock. It'll be over with. What we're going to do is we're going to keep on going on on Monday. Excuse me. on Well, not Monday because that's the 4th. And I know y'all going to be eating that barbecue. Just be, come on now, let's be real. No judgment. Um, okay, so you know what? We're going to actually start it the monday after not this monday but the monday after we're going to start another fast why are we doing back-to-back -back fast i think y'all already know look at what's going on in family in the world i mean this is a time of fasting and prayer like never before this is also a time of getting closer to god this is a time of purifying yourself consecrating yourself getting closer to god like never before most people well, we, let me just be real. A lot of people don't want God anymore. I'm going to say it again. A lot of people don't want God anymore. I'm going to say it one more time. A lot of people don't want God anymore. A lot of people want to do what they want to do. And then when they get what they get, they end up crying. And then, you, let me tell you all something. You, you ever notice this? And I, I know it's true because we've all done it. We've all been guilty of it. You know, when we're blessed and everything's going good, it's like, we we'll still love God. We'd be like, hallelujah. I mean, we we, you know really feeling good but when god allowed tests and trials and things to happen then we like oh my god some people even blame god that's why you're supposed to stay prayed up that's why you're supposed to stay walking the, you know walking in consistency of serving god of loving god of praying and i don't know if y'all saw on my page there was a story out of atlanta that really um it just really hurt my heart it was these two young ladies and they were going to school and they're working at Subway. It's on my page for those that want to look at it. And um, they were working at Subway. And this guy walked up in there and I guess she had put too much mayonnaise on his sandwich. He shot and killed her. So I just want you to know what type of world we're living in to where people are allowing their emotions, their anger. Their, it's a spirit of rage, a spirit of lawlessness that's in the land. How can you combat that? Praying over yourselves, praying over your family members, praying over those that don't even believe. Let's be honest. And asking God to put a hedge of protection around you. We're living in the last days, whether y'all want to acknowledge it or not, whether you believe in God or not, you cannot stop what's happening. We are truly living in the book of Revelation to where anything goes. People do what they feel. They do what they say. They allow you, whatever the case may be. But I'm reminded of how Jesus combated everything. He combated speaking the word of God all the time. I'm trying to figure out what, was, what is that noise. <laughs> it just started when I was um, doing this. So, Okay, so anywho... Um, Let's just stay steadfast and movable in the things of God. Stay prayed up. Stay walking in a, with a positive attitude despite of who, what. Just stay positive. Pray for this world. Pray for this nation. Pray for your family. Pray for your enemies. So we're going to start another fast. Not this Monday coming because it's the 4th. But the next Monday. We're going to just keep on going. Just keep on going. And I'm praying for everybody. I am praying and praying and praying. That's where we at. We must be in an attitude of praying and fasting like never before. So I want you all to be encouraged. You know, don't pray when something happens. You're supposed to be consistently. That way when that thing happens, okay, I'm prayed up. And then I can ask God to give me wisdom and discernment on how do I handle it. What do I 
go through how do i go through it see it's not what you go through it's how you go through it oh i know that all too well come on somebody hallelujah so also um i'm thinking about doing the classes again i'm not sure a lot of people been asking me <laughs> um their spiritual warfare classes slash prophetic classes let me know if you're interested um i don't want to just do stuff just to do it you know that's not never been my mo so god bless you god keep you i missed you all you know um god is good i'm gonna say that in god is good don't just focus on the bad in life focus on you could walk you could talk you're spending time with your family you're blessed i want you to understand you're blessed even in your mess i don't care what you're going through i want you to know that you're blessed walk in the walk in the joy of the lord i keep i keep hearing that since the other night bible study i keep hearing god says that you see happiness something got always happen for you to be happy that's why most people are not happy but the joy of the Lord, God, just thank you, God. I, I, I don't understand it. It don't always feel comfortable. I don't have everything I want. I don't, might not have who I want. Let's just be real about it up in here. But I just thank you, God. That's the joy of the Lord. Ask God to give you unspeakable joy. You don't have to walk around mad at everybody, what's going on, what is not going on. Hallelujah. So be encouraged. God bless you. And you don't know what time it is. Roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are. Walk like it, talk like it, act like it, be like it. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Mm. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah.